what's up guys welcome to another video today i have another library to present to you and so this library is called react pdf viewer and as the name says it is going to help you display pdfs on your website on your applications or wherever you're using react and so it's a simple library that does something simple it lets you display pdfs and so it doesn't just do that it also offers you customization options for you to put on the display window or on the display um, block where you allow your users to do certain things so we are going to check out how it works and so it's important to note that um, pdfs are going to be displayed only on modern browsers so all browsers which don't use some certain javascript libraries and there was this whole first about um, some i don't i think at adobe um, plugin that wasn't supported anymore but so i just want you to take note that this uh this library is only going to work on modern browsers and so it's going to allow you to directly show a pdf on your website directly and so still there are some options that need to be enabled on the user's browser if not this file is just going to be downloaded directly but i think this plugin is going to allow you to add all those features and so yeah so it's quite simple nothing too complicated straightforward so with this line of code after installing it with these lines of code you get to integrate that directly into your into your project so as you can see it's trusted by numerous platforms and they all make use of this as well at a certain degree it is a scalable architecture it is rich in features you can you can allow your users to download to drag and drop full screen mode highlights page navigation and so these are all the other features i was talking to you about you can add all of these they can add a um, table of contents team thumbnails zoom and so on and so forth so equally it has localization you can get the um, default language of the user's browser and set it as the language of the plugin or of the interface yeah so it's also built in right to left support yeah so you can put teams dark mode light mode accessibility support you can zoom in and out it's responsive as well it's going to work as well as on desktop as it would on mobile and it offers equally some customization options so there's a bar down here it's going to offer those customization options so these are the projects in which you can integrate this plugin or this library electron projects gatsby next parcel roll up web packs no pack and so on and so forth so it's a rich rich a rich features powerful real component to view a pdf document so let's check out some examples i always like looking at examples to see exactly what i can do so here you have the basic examples and you can see oh there are a lot of them so we're just going to go through them a little fast we'll just check out a couple of them you can see all of them now so so with this you can add a watermark to whatever pdf you're displaying so that's important if you want to keep your branding or keep um, some protected content you can easily integrate a watermark to it i believe this watermark isn't um inscribed into the document itself but it's just um displayed alongside the component so yeah you check out this code it's going to allow you to do that so another example is this if you want to maybe set the i think this is add buttons to each page for rotating the target page yeah so you can go ahead and add these buttons that are going to allow you to rotate the page yeah i guess those are some useful features yeah so add margin between pages as well you see so the customizations even goes into the into the application itself yeah so customize error renderer yeah the document is missing yeah customize loader render up yeah so load a big document as you can see it's loading so it offers a lot of customization features that can help you in one way or the other you can even have a protected documents it's only after they have entered a password that they are going to be able to view the documents so you can see all of these features is a very very simple but yet um, highly customizable um, library so you should definitely check it out and integrate it on whatever project you are interested in so yeah it's just a little plugin i wanted to show you i hope you enjoy it i hope you make use of it so i hope you enjoy the video catch you on the next one